UFC champion Conor McGregor and the love of his life, Dee Devlin, have been together through thick and thin. Here's an inside look at this couple's relationship and their luxe life. Let's start with the basics. Conor McGregor and Dee Devlin met in 2008. Yes, the Irish couple had been together way before Conor took the MMA rings by storm. McGregor had just recently quit his apprenticeship as a plumber to make a name for himself in the MMA. Conor McGregor. Ready? Fight. And here we go. Quickly taking the scrimmage, though. So far, it's Brimage landing the bigger shots, but out of Connor's 12 the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO. And Devlin had dropped out of high school to make a life for herself as a model. As they say, two youngsters with big dreams are bound to fall in love. And that's exactly what happened. They met in a Dublin nightclub when Connor had trained for the MMA, and there was instant butterflies. The mixed martial artist told VIP, She seemed like a nice girl, and I like good girls. The feeling was mutual, as Devlin felt the same for Connor and said she really admired his dedication toward becoming a pro fighter. That's how one of the greatest love stories of all time began. Devlin's had a ringside seat for Connor's career early on and has stayed there ever since. Not only is she a partner to the 34-year-old fighter, but she also manages his professional career. Indeed, Devlin works for Conor McGregor. One thing we all know is that it's difficult to keep a romance going while trying to start fresh careers. There are always bills to pay, and this is where most relationships fall apart. Was this the case with Conor and Devlin? No, because they supported each other through all the hard days and came out stronger than ever. The fighter shared with VIP that D was the major breadwinner during the early days of their romance. She used to drive him to the gym, and he would shadow box in their bedroom while she used to be asleep. Now that's what you call true love, because there really isn't another reason someone would sacrifice their good night's sleep for you. After his first UFC victory, the <laughs> Some job, and again, as, as Kenny and I saw early with the upper. McGregor said that he wouldn't be doing what he was at that time if it wasn't for his girlfriend. Ah, to this day, Devlin's been contributing to her boyfriend's career. She's a part of the athlete's management team. From his winnings to endorsement deals, and from his wardrobe line to his whiskey, D handles everything. Not only this, but she also schedules his public appearances. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. Of course you can, no problem. I know the man. I don't know the man. It's obvious that there's him and Megan to be at the at the fights. And... Wait, what happened? Absolutely. I know my ancestors and my bloodline. He's on the battlefield, you know what I mean? I, I, I know I was put here. You called, you called him a cholo in there. That's kind of racially motivated. Did you mean to say it like that? The true martial artist is a peaceful man. And is his personal stylist. She's really stuck with him no matter what he went through because, let's be honest, Connors had a pretty controversial career, but not even arrest warrants were strong enough to break this bond. Which brings us to the next thing on our list. Connor and Dee's relationship has endured several criminal charges. Dee knew what she was signing up for when she started dating a potential MMA fighter. She told VIP, I've always supported him, so I'm glad that it's come to fruition for him. And for us, really. She really meant it when she said forever because her man is quite known for spinning out of control on several occasions. In April 2022, Connor was charged with six driving infractions, including two for dangerous driving behind the wheel of his Bentley. How is it getting used to the, the finer yeah. things in life, Connor? In a case that's still pending, the lightweight double champion also has an arrest record that includes several assault charges. Like that one time he reportedly punched a DJ in the face during an altercation at a party in 2021. Not only this, but he also escaped a jail sentence for punching a bar patron in Dublin in 2019, but was fined $1,000 for it. The year before, he was arrested for throwing a metal dolly at opponent Khabib Nurmagomedov, who was on a bus departing the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. He has also faced lawsuits. 
and the list just goes on and on. More power to D for sticking through all of this. Going through lawsuits together can make a couple strong, but want to know what can make them stronger? If you guessed suing the media together, you're right, the couple sued the media for breach of privacy. The couple's been in the spotlight long enough to not have problems with their pictures being taken at UFC events. We've even seen the UFC star encouraging attention at these events, and there are many, many pictures of the couple hugging and kissing. But if you snap pics of their home or their children, you might have a lawsuit against you. In 2016, the couple sued a British tabloid Sunday World for sharing a picture that showed the exterior of their house and killed their county, along with their luxury cars sitting in the driveway. The couple wanted the publication to remove the pictures from their website. I'm with the Irish on this one because it's creepy to have pictures of your house on the news, especially when you're a world-class fighter. Three years later, the couple was involved with another breach of privacy lawsuit, but only this time they were on the other end. Miami-based Cueto Law Group said that their client, Ahmed Abdi Arizak, was allegedly beaten up by McGregor, who then destroyed his cell phone after Ahmed had taken this photo. Abdi Rizak sued Connor, but the charges were later dropped. Back to the couple, we know they're not married, but Connor did put a ring on his partner's finger. Connor proposed to Dee on her birthday. Giving flowers and writing poetry for the love of his life isn't Connor's taste in romance. Instead, his dedication to his sport is his devotion to his partner. He once said, that's romantic in itself. I'm putting my body on the line for my woman. Now, that's just a different level of loyalty. Connor did the traditional knee drop on Devlin's 32nd birthday. This was after 12 years of their relationship, but made sense as the fighter had a nine-figure net worth and the couple was already raising two children at the time. The engagement took place just a couple of months after McGregor retired from UFC, so it made sense that he wanted to settle down with his family. I mean, anyone who had such a loving partner would want to settle down. D has passed every relationship test there could be and has always cheered for her husband from the ringside. Which brings us to the next thing on our list, D hates to miss any of Connor's fights. How is D the most perfect partner ever? None of Connor's matches would be complete without his better half. I mean, can you imagine him winning a match without D rushing into the octagon to give him a kiss? It's a ritual that the couple has followed since 2013. She's been by his side in all the 28 professional matches he's fought except for his last fight in 2021, which he lost to Dustin Poirier. This was because he insisted that she not show up, believing that Devlin and their three kids would compromise his intensity. I'm sure he missed his better half that night. Having his family by his side or not, he knows they're always cheering for him one way or another. While we're on the topic of his home life, let's have a deeper look. McGregor and Devlin's Lux life outside the octagon. The athlete is worth $180 million. Now let's be honest, that's a lot of money to live a perfectly good life. Thanks to his big bucks, Connor and Dee's lifestyle is lavish. Outside the octagon, they like to go on expensive vacations and buy luxurious cars. From Lamborghinis to Cadillacs, they have them all. Well, that was an inside look at Connor and Dee's relationship. See you in our next video.